It's that time again. Time for the original Charlotte Insider. I'm Sam and Joe Francis with everything you need to know to get this weekend started. This week, Bears. Plus, a first look at the Charlotte Knights' new digs, and Steph Curry gives back to Charlotte Kids. But first, a landmark decision by the highest court in the country. Two big victories for marriage equality. The Supreme Court struck down part of DOMA, the federal law that denied benefits to those already married in 12 states. SCOTUS also cleared the way for same-sex marriages to resume in California, declining to rule on Prop 8. We thank the justices for letting us get married in California, but that's not enough. It's got to go nationwide, and we can't wait for that day. Homosexuality does not qualify as a civil right. It's a complicated, controversial issue. Make sure you understand it by reading more at WBTV.com. This week, we got invited to a sneak peek inside BB&T Ballpark. It will be the new home of the Charlotte Knights come next summer. Among the best features are the great views of uptown and skyboxes that may be the best way to take it a game. A lot of people talking about this. A black bear seems to be making the rounds in our area this week. He's been spotted in at least three different counties so far. He actually was walking towards me. That's when I decided to go back to my car. Bears aren't usually aggressive, but if you do see one, make sure to keep a safe distance. NBA star Steph Curry may live in California now, but he still calls Charlotte home. The former Davidson star is spending the week here working with kids at his basketball camp at Charlotte Christian High School. We caught up with him there and asked him if it was a little weird to be home after he blew it up in the NBA playoffs. You know, I used to grow up in camps. So I used to go to college camps around and their players just come talk. It's, it's very surreal. Curry also told us he's looking forward to seeing his younger brother, Seth, who just finished his due career, play in the NBA. By the way, Winthrop University is getting some national attention using state-of-the-art technology to keep students safe. It's straight out of sci-fi retinal scanning. The scans will eventually replace student ID cards. Right now, it's optional. About 1,200 Winthrop students have signed up. Here's a look at our picks for the weekend. Friday night, the 2013 Red Bull 3-style U.S. champion Trentino is DJing at Sweet. Also Friday, CLT Fun celebrates its three-year anniversary at Bubble. Saturday, the Charlotte Caribbean Festival and Parade at the Carnival Village. Also Saturday, Pints for Pups at Jackalope Jets. It's a fundraiser benefiting a great organization, the Dog Days of Charlotte. Saturday and Sunday, the Charlotte Knights are home after a long road trip taking on Buffalo. And you can stop by and see me. I'm there Saturday and Sunday MC. Also Saturday and Sunday, the Nota Summer Music Fest at the Chop Shop. Two days of food and 40 of your favorite local and regional bands. Sunday, 30 rock star Tracy Morgan brings his stand-up routine to the film world. If you haven't noticed, it's that time of year where scattered thunderstorms pop up somewhere just about every day. This weekend, well, no exception. Monday night on WBTV, the second episode of the most watched summer show since 1992, Under the Dome. The series was shot in and around Wilmington. You can catch up on the Stephen King miniseries at WBTV.com. With Charlotte Fashion Week approaching, we had Fox Skins designer Melissa Davis in-house to show us some of her work. It's her second year as part of Charlotte Scenes Fashion Week. I definitely feel like that is part of who I am, so I always want to contribute to that type of atmosphere. Keep an eye out for more from Melissa as an Insider Web Extra very soon. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Catch the original Charlotte Insider every Thursday on WBTV.com, except no substitute. Of course, follow us on Twitter at CLT Insider. Keep up with us and we'll keep you up with Charlotte. I'm Sammy Jo Francis. Have a great weekend.